All right, so we can get started. So um, this is just gonna be a performance measure recap, refresher for everyone here. Um, as a reminder, this is going to be recorded and this will be on our uh, website and our YouTube uh, channel. So you can go back to it um, if you need any assistance with that. So we're gonna go over briefly the community need uh, for the ICAP program, uh, the logic module, uh, model, uh, and then go through all the different performance measures, national, volunteer, capacity building, uh, beneficiary, and then the member measures as well. So again, the community need, Iowa nonprofits cannot meet the increased demand for their direct services. So this is a result of growing population, budget crunches and cuts, uh, and a lack of capacity uh, to effectively recruit volunteers uh, for their programs. And I think a lot of us kind of see that uh, with just how many volunteer coordinators are at the different nonprofit sites. So it's either just one person or they're doing several other jobs. So uh, this is kind of the need surrounding the Iowa College of Medical Program. Uh, the logic module, module uh, model. So this is for the uh, volunteer recruitment side of uh, things. And um, Justin and I always like going to the very end, the long term. Um, kind of desired a change for this is that organizations have developed a sustainable pipeline of student volunteers to meet program needs. So again, making sure that your ICAP members are understanding that their ultimate goal is to create a sustainable pipeline of their uh, students, their peers, to the nonprofit. So kind of always keeping that in mind. And then just going backwards on the actual um, logic model, uh, just increase the number of recruited volunteers, increase the number of volunteers managed, and we'll get, get into what a recruited volunteer is and what a managed volunteer is. And then increasing their knowledge uh, of the organization and also the organization's knowledge of effective volunteer management practices. And then the second um, model here is for capacity building. So the long term, again, organizations improve the capacity and are able to provide more and better direct services to their communities. So again, that's kind of what we're going for with the capacity builders. So everyone that is uh, kind of identifying as a capacity builder, every ICAP member. So um, the different outcomes, so number of organizations reporting their capacity building activities provided by the ICAP members have helped them make the organization more effective. And this is really done through the pre and post surveys that you all should have received in the uh, application packet for the ICAP members. And I'll show you where to actually upload those into Appleform as well. So these are the two logic models for um, the program and really kind of the two outcomes that we're really trying to go towards. So the national performance measures, again, number of community volunteers recruited by organizations or participants, and then the number of organizations implementing effective volunteer management practices uh, being received by CNC, uh, being supported by CNCS uh, programs. And the two things to highlight, again, for the number of community volunteers recruited, that uh, host sites are reporting the aggregate, so the non-duplicate uh, results. So making sure that each uh, volunteer is a unique and different volunteer, so not counting the same volunteer on different uh, service sites. And then the uh, number of uh, organizations implementing effective volunteer management practices, so host sites will, will report survey responses. So this is the pre-survey and the post-survey that um, all the ICAP members received in their ICAP um, application packet. And this is just for each organization. So not every ICAP member needs to have one of these pre and post surveys completed, but each site that they're at has to have it completed. So just that's kind of a um, something to keep in mind. And this is again what the uh, pre and post survey will look like. Um, I think you all have this information already. And then uh, the second uh, kind of group of national performance measures is the number of organizations that receive capacity building services as a result of the CNCS support. And then the number of organizations reporting that capacity building help make them more effective as a result of CNCS report, uh, support. And things to highlight with this is that host sites will report the service sites where members are providing services on the member position descriptions. So essentially the number of sites that are that your ICAP members are at, this is where that number goes in this top measure here. And then the number of organizations implementing effective volunteer management. So host sites will report survey responses. And this is again on the pre and post surveys uh, that you all received. 
And then going into the volunteer measure, so this is the number of recruited volunteers and then the number of managed volunteers, and this is both episodic and ongoing. And uh, the next slide here kind of goes into what an episodic and ongoing uh, volunteer are, but um, also the hours of hours served by the recruited and managed volunteers and the number of organizations implementing three or more volunteer management practices. So um, keep in mind too that you must count a volunteer as either recruited or managed. They cannot be both. And again, they can't, uh, your count must be unduplicated. So recruited volunteer is just enlisted and enrolled as a direct result of the uh, intentional effort uh, that you're doing. Managed volunteer, this includes training, direction, and coordination and supervision of the community volunteer. So all those things must be present to be a managed volunteer. Uh, episodic is just individuals who volunteer sporadically for a service site. So this is for like your uh, days of service, any kind of just sporadic service project that happens uh, with the organization. And then ongoing volunteers, individuals who provide uninterrupted service for one specific service project and or organization. Uh, the next group of measures is the capacity measure. So the number of organizations that receive capacity building services as a result of CNCS report, and then the number of organizations reporting that capacity building help make them more effective as a, uh, as a result of CNCS support. So the big thing here to kind of keep in mind is as a general rule, uh, CNCS considers capacity building activities to be indirect services that enable CNCS supported organizations to provide more, better, and sustained direct services. So kind of keeping that in mind that capacity building is really focused on the indirect services being provided by your ICAP members. Uh, capacity building activities must be intended to support and enhance the uh, program delivery model respond to an organization's goal of increasing, expanding, and enhancing services in order to address the most pressing needs identified by the community partner, and then uh, enable the organization to provide sustained level or more or better direct services after the National Service Participants Term of Service has ended. So again, this is kind of what we're going for with capacity building. And then the last two kind of sections of measures, beneficiaries served, so, um, these are just estimates. We're not needing specific numbers for these. So veteran family members served, mil uh, military family members served, active du duty military members, and then opportunity youth enrolled as AmeriCorps members. And then the very last one here is just the member uh, measures. So veterans serving as AmeriCorps members, uh, number of civic engagement trainings, lessons, or um, or reflection sessions uh, per member. Our program goal is three per member, and uh, this is in their uh, the member training certification form. So this was in the ICAP uh, file as well, uh, application packet. And then members who participated in disaster services, uh, local disasters uh, to which AmeriCorps members have responded to, and then individuals affected by disasters receiving assistance from the members. So these are kind of all the different performance measure categories, and these are all populated in Amplifun. So once I take you to that site, you'll see all of these on, um, once you start getting into your achievements is what they call them. But these are all listed out, and it has all of these explanations about what each of these performance measures are. Uh, other than that, um, reporting uh, host sites with full-time members are gonna be reporting monthly. And these are set up already in your Amplifun um, accounts. So I already populated all the way up until January. Um, I'll put the rest of them in for the spring, probably later on this month, but they're already populated underneath your task. And then all of the sites, uh, midterm report April 15th, and then the program closing uh, 15 days after your last member's exit date. And then something that I really wanna see more of is um, kind of some additional uh, reporting, um, really encouraging your members to, um, in their Iowa grants and their timesheets, to kind of report on different member experiences, so those great stories. Uh, I've already had a couple of them um, do that, and they've been really great stories to kind of see them uh, walk through an event or something they learned from an event, and that's something I want to see more of so I can share that more um, with uh, people in the office and then whoever um, that we're going to be working with kind of outside of Iowa Campus Compact. 
So that's something I, I really want to begin to kind of brag on you, all the ICAT members about, um, or all those great stories. But these are just some other things that you can report on as well. So at this point, are there any questions that anyone has? I will figure out how to unmute you. Nope. All right, so I'm going to go right to Amplifun now. All right, so this is Amplifun. You all should have gotten an invite um, for Amplifun. Um, the easiest way that I always go there, once you've gotten that invite and you set up your account and everything, um, in my uh, web address here, I just put in go to mygrants.com. Um, that will redirect you to the Amplifund sign-in page. Uh, you put in your username and your password and it will bring you to this. So the very first screen here is just your, uh, your calendar. And your calendar should be populated with all the different tasks that you've been assigned to. So you can see I have two tasks here, and these are for the ICAP reports, those monthly reports that I've already set up here. Um, before getting into the other task, I'm actually going to switch my view uh, so that you can see it from a full-time member's perspective, because I have access to everything, so I can see everything. So I'm actually going to at it from her perspective here. All right, so this is what um, this is one of our full time members. So again, it takes you to their calendar. Not sure why her tasks aren't showing up, but uh, this is where your task can populate right here. Uh, if you go down to task here, though, this will populate with everything that you've been assigned to that you need to complete for this grant, essentially. So as you can see, this full time member, the September October report that was due on Friday. Uh, that is completed, and then there's the November report that's due in December, and then the December numbers that's due in January. So you have everything populated that you need to report for in this section right here. So um, if you're just needing a quick view of everything that you need to be doing for the grant, all you do is go to the left-hand uh, column here and just click on task, and it'll list everything out for you. Um, other than that, you'll go down to achievements, and this is how you actually input the measures into the system. So once you go to achievements, you'll see all of the different measures associated with uh, the grant. And these are all the ones that I just went over um, in the PowerPoint that I just showed. So with this, uh, you can click on each one, and it just tells you about, uh, it gives you a description about each of the different performance measures. But how you actually input it in is you should, you're just going to push the plus button here to add the achievement. And then you input the number here, any notes that you may have, and then you just push create. So that's how you input all your numbers every month. If you ever want to see what you've put in before, that's what this little trophy is for. So you click on that and you'll see what you inputted in for that uh, specific measure previously. So it tells you the date you put it in, what number you put in by the individual and then any notes that you have. So if you ever need a reference of what did I put in last month, you can always go to that trophy in order to see that. But this is primarily where you'll be living at inputting data for the ICAP grant. So it just goes all the way down here. You just keep pressing the plus button to add in your different numbers here. Um, something else that you can do, um, well actually before I talk to you about that, 
uh, the measures that uh, talk about the number of organizations implementing uh, volunteer management practices or the capacity building, it's in these that you're going to put in and upload your pre-surveys for your community organizations. So you just press the plus button here and then at the very bottom where it says upload files, this is where you can actually input your pre-surveys right here. Um, and then also your uh, post surveys will be there as well. Oh, did that want to do that? Let me erase that. But something else that you can do if this is um, to kind of help you see the different categories of the performance measures. Um, Justin has created a fantastic view of that because he's such a great and awesome person. Um, if you go very at the very bottom of this left hand side and go to views. You should have one that says achievements by grant person and strategy so if you click on that it'll take you to that same section with all those performance measures but it will have it actually sectioned out into the different categories that i talked about in the powerpoint so you have your beneficiary category your capacity uh, measures here your member measures and then your volunteer measures as well so if you want to look at it kind of on the, um, like that then this is how you would actually um, do that kind of review. Otherwise, you can just go to achievements and just see it kind of in the big list form here. But uh, that's really it with the Amplifun training. That's really all you're going to need to do with inputting the different measures into the system. Are there any questions, any technical questions about inputting your information into the system? As I unmute you guys, stop sharing. I also don't have anything on my calendar as far as like due dates. I'm not can sure. Can you see it in your task though? Yeah, it's in my tasks. Okay. Yeah, that's something I can um, talk to them about uh, just to see why it's not populating. It might be something to do with your settings, but I'll okay. figure that out for you so we can at least start populating on there for you. So since it's just, I just have an off-wordly question, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Since it's just me in the office besides my student workers, mm -hmm. I guess I'm a little confused on how I'm, am I calcul how I'm calculating this. Is it the group of people that I'm working with? These are four-year recruited members, so each um, recruited volunteers, essentially. Okay, so they don't have to be an AmeriCorps ICAP member. It's just on. Camp. No, this is for yeah. This okay. is for your volunteers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I was a little confused. I was like, wait a minute. I don't know how I'm supposed to input this if it's just me. Mm, not for okay. your volunteers. That's right. Okay. And I have one more question. So a question has been asked, um, talking about recruited and managed volunteers. Once a member has recruited and continues to manage this group of volunteers throughout this year, do you want the member to no longer report these volunteers or switch to reporting them as managed? So kind of going over the recruited volunteer, they can only be one or the other. Uh, and then once you report on a volunteer, you cannot report on them again. So that's kind of the non-duplicate. Uh, reporting that we're speaking of. So no, you cannot lose volunteers again. They have to be brand new volunteers. Any other questions? So I do have a lot of duplicated volunteers. A lot mm -hmm. of students that continuously serve, a lot of mm -hmm. athletic groups that continuously serve. So are they going to be a managed volunteer then no there would be your ongoing ongoing so okay. that will be in that category okay but again those will only be for you only report on them one time and you just put them in that ongoing category okay but the hours will be kind of across the entire board though. So the only thing is non-duplicate is the actual volunteer. The hours you're still gonna calculate though. Okay. 
Any other questions? Okay, well, I will make this recording available to everyone um, on our website. I'll send it out to you as well. And I'll also um, give you guys this uh, PowerPoint as well. So thank you guys. And uh, if you have any other questions, make sure you reach out to me. You should have my uh, contact information now. I finally have a phone as well. So don't be scared to uh, call me either. All right. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank you.